Hey everyone, Andy here again. Uh, this video is a uh, sort of addition to the last video I did on loading 3D lookup tables and 1D lookup tables into the F5 and F55. Uh, this video is about uh, how to do so and create how to create 3D lookup tables uh, with DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic Design. Uh, DaVinci Resolve can create uh, really uh, complicated 3D lookup tables that are compatible with the camera, but there's a little bit of uh, finesse that has to be done to do so. So let's dive right into Resolve uh, and start creating these lookup tables and then we'll load them into the camera. Uh, I have open on my computer here right now uh, Resolve. This is the full version, but the light version would work just fine. And in, in this, I've loaded in my uh, clip from my camera. Again, this is uh, a color chart that you see here. Um, this is a uh, just a, again, a raw clip, but this would also work with any log material from the camera. Um, I want to jump right into my, uh, my, uh, my timeline editor here. I'm, on the, I'm in the uh, color correction section of Resolve, uh, and I'm going to go on to this camera raw section, which is this little camera picture. I'm going to choose in the decode settings to decode via the clip. Basically, I want to override the parameters of this clip uh, and make sure that the camera, this is set to uh, S gamut 3 and S log 3. Uh, the reason I do this is because uh, in order to apply lookup tables, I have to do so, uh, anyway, to apply three lookup tables, I have to do so on top of S gamut 3 and, and S log 3. So uh, I'm set the, the, that parameter up like that. If I was doing this in log, I wouldn't have these options, but I would want to make sure that the clip that I'm, I'm creating the lookup on top of is shot in S gamut 3, etc. So uh, this is an important step. Make sure it's, it's set that way. The next thing I'm going to do is load in a lookup table that's appropriate for converting the S gamut 3 to 709. Resolve, the latest version, has built in Sony lookup tables that go from uh, S gamut 3 Cine or S gamut 3 into 709. I'm going to start that way because that color space conversion can be a little tricky. I can do it myself, but if you don't know, it's a good place to start. So I'm going to do that up here in the node graph. Go to the top here, say 3D LUT, go to so or 3D LUT, go to Sony. And then I'm going to choose S gamut 3 Cine to 709 type A. This is a, a standard lookup table that Sony provides with a nice look. I like the way this is overall. And you can see it's a, it's a very colorful, nice look. Uh, but I may choose to modify that to get my own kind of look. And I can, of course, do so with standard color grading applications, you know, add uh, saturation if I want to, add some contrast down here. You can see I was playing with this before. Uh, you know, however I want to choose so, change color offsets, etc. Standard stuff. I could even choose to, if I wanted, uh, add a secondary layer, add, out to, add an outside node, and do something like uh, color isolation. Maybe we'll uh, select just the red colors and change them blue. I can do that with a 3D lookup table. So I selected the red layer here. I'll make the a little bit, a little bit more, maybe a little wider, and go ahead and just change that one color to say, I don't know, red to kind of bluish, right? So I'll make it a little wider still, oh, a little less. Increase the f softness on the edges, a little less up there. So crazy color combinations, I know. But hey, the point is you can do this. You probably wouldn't do it, but you could if you wanted to. There's a secondary. Now, to generate the 3D lookup table, all I have to do in Resolve is click Generate LUT. Uh, left, right click on this guy, uh, the actual grade, say Generate 3D LUT there, and then Let's go ahead on your de on our desktop and just create one. And I'll call this uh, red to blue LUT. Red to blue LUT. Save it. OK, we did that. Now I have to put the file on the card and load it in the camera. But before we do that, there's a little modification that we have to do right now because the camera isn't reading exactly correctly how res the, 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 the resolved file. So we have to modify the file a little bit. Sounds scary, but it's not that bad. So I'll go ahead to my. Uh, into Finder here, and my, my Mac, or onto my, onto my files. Find my, uh, find my uh, red to blue file, which we just created, the cube file. And then I'm going to check it out and compare it to the files that, my, uh, that, my, that the raw viewer created. So uh, the raw viewer from Sony, we know, makes correct lookup tables. Uh, let's compare it uh, to the, uh, the one that Resolve just made by using a complicated program called uh, Text Editor. Right? So, Blood files are just text files for the most part, so nothing to be afraid of. I'm going to go ahead and just load up the, this black and white cube file that I made previously uh, and this uh, red to blue file that I just made. And when you compare the two together, you'll see they both have a number of 
uh, characters in them, etc. The first two lines being description, and then a bunch of numbers below that being the actual lookup table. Big difference here is that the the black and white one made by the raw viewer has an extra space in between the the description here and the actual uh, LUT, whereas our our one we made in Resolve does not. Now this causes a problem. The camera doesn't read it right. So to solve that problem, I just simply put an extra space in there. Uh, hit enter and then save that. Oops. Save that. And then voila, now it's compatible with the camera. Not so bad, right? So there's the cube file edited. Uh, I'm going to copy that cube file onto my SD card. This is my local machine here. Here's my SD card. So open a new window. Oops. There it is, red to blue cube. That's now on my SD card ready to load into my camera. So uh, let's eject the card and go to the camera and load from there. Cool. All right. Like so. Okay. Now in the camera, uh, again, we have to be in uh, Cine 3, S log 3, Cine 3, or S log 3, S gamut 3, S gamut 3 Cine to do this. So make sure you're there. Now let's go to our, uh, I'm in the monitor 3 LUT setting here. Let's go back a little bit so you can see. File, uh, monitor 3D LUT, like I did before. And then go to load SD card. And I want to replace the second spot here because I have my black and white one and number one, which I made earlier. Go to two. And we'll see, oh, red to blue LUT. Uh, that first one's sort of an artifact of the computer, so we can ignore it, but this is the real one down here. Red to blue LUT. Uh, and uh, execute. All right, so this is what this is going to do is uh, load it into my, my, into my camera in the second spot. OK, did that. Great, great. Now let's uh, apply it and see what happened. Hopefully the red stuff gets, gets kind of blue. Go to M LUT here and go to number two, and sure enough, there it is. The red stuff's kind of blue, right? So uh, similar looking to what I have here, actually very, very close. Uh, so uh, this is the process. I made this lookup table in Resolve, and then exported it from Resolve, loaded it into the camera. Of course, uh, this is kind of an ugly way to do it, but you can go much more complicated. Indeed, we'll, uh, we do plan on making uh, lookup tables to match various cameras using this method. Uh, much more elegantly, hopefully. Uh, so uh, that's it for now, guys. I hope you have fun trying this out, and I'll see you next time.